Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, we will learn a Travis resource concept in Java programming language. So what is it? A Travis resource concept is a very powerful and important feature that simplifies the management of resources such as files, sockets, and database connections that need to be closed after their operations are completed. This feature was introduced in Java 7 to handle resource management more safely and efficiently by automatically closing resources, therefore reducing the risk of resource leak. You know very well, if you would like to perform some inputs and output operations in Java programming language, that can be done with the help of stream classes. Whenever you will create an object of a stream class, it must be closed when it is no longer needed if you will not close an object of a stream class, it can lead to a memory leaks and resource starvation problem. So how to close an object of a stream class? So here you can see we have two different methods to close an object of a stream class. First is using a traditional approach where a stream object is closed explicitly by a programmer using a close function. Second one is the new approach that has been introduced in Java 7 that is known as a travel resource concept where stream object closed automatically whenever the resource will come out from a try block. So let us try to understand with the help of a programming examples how these two approach are used to close an object of a stream class. And you will also learn what are the limitations and the hurdles whenever you are trying to close an object of a stream class explicitly. So let us move to the Eclipse. Okay, so here is a program where we are just closing the stream object manually using a close function. So here we are using writer.close. So this is a program which helps us to write some content on a file using the buffered writer class. So here we have created an object of a buffered writer, writer in order to perform some writing operations. So here you can see after performing write operations, we are just closing the stream object using a close function. So let us run this program and let's see what will be the output of it. Whenever you will run this, here we go, it is showing file writing operations completed. Let us see if file is created or not. So you will go to the project and refresh it. Here you can see traditional.txt file is created and some content is already written on the file, right, using the write operations. So let us move back to the programs. So this program is perfectly fine. There is no problem in it. So let us see if you will not close this stream object manually. What is the problem of it? Let me just remove this part, save this program, and I will run it. And you will see what is the output of it. Here we go. You can see, let me open traditional.txt file. And here you can see there is no content is written on this file. Right? So your program is, you know, running perfectly. Your program is okay. There is no problem in the programs, but it is not performing the desired operations. You are not getting the output properly. It has not written any content on the file. So let us move back to the program. Let's see what is the problem here, right? So if you will see this object or buffered writer, that is a writer, and you will hover your mouse over this object, compiler is showing some warning here. The warning is resource leak. Writer is never closed. So here there is a problem of resource leak that is due to that it has not performed right operations. So how can you fix it? These are the quick fix. So you can close or you have to close this object manually. If you will not close this object manually, there will be a problem of resource leak and it will not perform the operations effectively. Right. So let me just add a close function and you there is, you can see the compiler is not complaining for anything now. You will run your program and you will see what is the output of it. Here we go. You, can, you will open traditional.txt file and you can see the text is written over here, right? So it is mandatory to close your stream object after completing all your operations. So 
let me just help you to understand what is the problem in this traditional approach of closing your stream object explicitly by the programmer right let us discuss the problem for example the problem one is during these writing operations there may be some exceptions if some exceptions will be generated during these writing operations so your control will never move to the close function or you will never reach to this statement and your object of a stream class will never close so in those situations again there will be a problem of a resource leak and means it will not perform the desired operations properly right so how can you manage it so there is one way to manage this kind of situation you can just remove this close function from here or you can add a finally block because you know very well the finally block always executed whether an exception is generated or not so if some exception is raised during these writing operations so definitely the finally block executed and your stream object will be closed so there will be not a problem of a resource leak but here you can see the compiler is complaining what is the problem next here the writer object cannot be a resolve type so this writer object is declared inside a try block right so it is not available inside a finally block finally block so how can you just resolve this you can declare the object of buffer writer outside the try block so let me just move this complete statement out from the try block so you can see here the compiler is again complaining that is unhandled exception type io exceptions so again you have a exceptions now you have to manage it using a try or catch or something different try catch mechanism so it is better you can keep this statement inside a try block or you can just declare an object of a buffer writer outside the try so it will be available inside the finally block so here i have declared buffer writer writer and i will just remove this buffer writer from here right so now you can see everything is fine but again the finally block has a problem what is the problem here the writer dot close means again inside the finally block it is showing unhandled exception type io exceptions so because this close function this close function is throwing some exceptions of input output exceptions so again you have to just manage it you can use a throws declaration or you can surround with a try catch so here we go you can see again you can manage it using a try catch now what is the problem this local variable writer may not have been initialized so you can see what kind of hurdles and different hassles are there in order to perform or in order to close the stream objects you can see how many steps we are doing right multiple times so you can initialize this buffer writer writer is equal null so i think now it is okay there is no problem in it so now everything is fine let us run this program and let's see what is the output of it so it is showing file writing operations completed everything is fine you will open traditional.txt so your content is written over there right so all good there is no problem in it but here you can see you here you can see how many operations we have performed we have declared the object of buffer writer outside the class and we have initialized it then we have added a finally block and we are trying to close this stream object using a close function inside it again this is throwing some exceptions so so much hassles are there during or performing these operations right so it is a little bit complex and complicated let me just help you to understand what is the concept of private resource and how it will work so here we go let us move to the another programs you can see how this private resource concept will work so what is the syntax of it so private resource concept will automatically close the stream objects there is no need to call explicitly close functions in order to close a stream objects so here is a syntax inside a try you will just create an object of a resource type 
and when whenever you will come out from a try block your resource will be closed automatically and you will not get any problem of resource leak right and corresponding to a catch you can handle the exceptions of a particular type let me help you to understand how to perform the same operations using try with resource concept and you can understand how much it is easy so how this try with resource concept work i will simply write a try function like that or inside it you will create an object of a buffered writer so let me create an object of a buffered writer writer is equal new buffered writer or inside it you will create an object of new file writer new file writer and you will just pass the name of a file right so for example the name of the file is let me create or write the name of the file for example my file dot txt right so after this i will just put this part right so this is a try with resource concept so this is a resource here right buffered writer class this is a kind of resource which help us to write or which help us to perform some writing operations on the file so this my file dot txt you will just put in double quotes right so here you can see what is the problem so it is showing unhandled exceptions you can just add a close a catch you know block corresponding to a try so now inside it what can you do inside it you have an object of a buffered writer with the help of this buffered writer you can perform some write operations for example you are trying to add some names inside it so you can add using this writer dot write james or if you would like to provide a new line right so you can call the function new line or in the similar way you can just add multiple names here right for example the name is mary here right the next name is ram okay so let us save this program let us run it and let's see what is the output of it just save this so here let us just refresh this project and you will see my file.txt file is created and content is written over there james mary and ram right so if you will observe in this approach this approach is little bit you know it is a simple approach and here there is no need to close an object of a buffered writer explicitly using a close function so whenever this is a resource type right so whenever you are over with all the writing operations and you will come out from a try block your resource object will be closed automatically no need to close your object manually right so this is the advantage of using try with resource concept over a traditional approach where there is no need to close an object of a resource in our case the resource is the buffered writer object that is the writer so it will be closed automatically whenever the resource will be out from this try block so i hope guys you understand the concept of try with resource and you have observed the difference between the traditional approach where we are closing the uh, stream object manually and this is the new approach which is introduced in java 7 in order to close stream object automatically when you will done with all your write operations or different operations of the files so guys thank you for watching bye bye for now have a great day